all have a body and dance is the art form that uses the body the most, I would say. So there is an immediate kind of empathy between the audience and performer because I think you imagine what must that feel like to do that? What must it feel like to throw your leg up like that or lie on a cold floor or feel the sweat dripping down your back? You know, it's kind of beautiful and kind of horrible at the same time. Just kind of getting into that level of the body. Unfolding in the walls of the Australian Centre for Contemporary Art is a large-scale performance installation by choreographer Lucy Guerin. Showing as part of Frame, a biennial of dance, it's a moving archive that marks 21 years of Lucy's contemporary dance company, Lucy Guerin Inc. Well, I was thinking about the next work that I wanted to make. But I was sitting in my office and I've got my archive in there with all the boxes containing all the old videos. And I was thinking, I have made so many steps. I've made so many pieces. And wondering about what it would be like to use sections and fragments of those older works to create a kind of a palette for a new work. Stretching over three hours, New Retro was performed by 21 dancers, some with a long history of working with Lucy, others working with her for the first time. There are four distinct spaces, an archive room with 21 previous works, a room where a dancer interacts with a video to learn a new work, duets performed in a traditional black box gallery, and the main stretch of Acker, your classic white cube, I think there's a really interesting thing that happens when you bring performance into the gallery. You have this much more intimate relationship between the artist or the performer and the audience. You get a much more physical kind of material sense of what dance is. I'm really enjoying that the audience will see more of the process and the kind of practice that dancers have on a daily basis in the studio. I think that different choreographers work differently. For me, the essential elements of choreography are still time and space and movement. I almost always start with the movement and all my works generally start with an idea. I mean, sometimes it's just a plant that's growing out of the sidewalk or just an everyday image that will just crack something open for me. And then from experience, I find that it's better to take that into the studio and try to think it through in a physical way. Lucy really likes to involve the dancers in the making of her work and I think she really thrives on handing us um, an offer that's from her interest and then seeing how we respond. I guess, you know, all the other influences that are in each of our bodies come out somehow and sort of blend with her aesthetics and interests. Over decades of making work, Lucy's become known for her unique choreographic style and for challenging an understanding of contemporary dance. I don't see myself as a massively radical experimental choreographer but I guess within my own paradigm I'm searching for just for the next thing. I try to subvert movement norms in a way. I try to uncover different ways of moving. Quite a few of my works have a fairly minimalist aesthetic as well so I use quite a bit of repetition. Very seldom would the dancers become characters other than who they are. Lucy's work, yeah, has a real specificity about it that is quite uniquely her movement vocabulary. You have to access your body in quite a different way to my experience with other choreographers or even my own work. For me, anyway, it has this real femininity to it, but it's also interspersed with these kind of like slightly kooky details, lots of hand gestures. I have a particular interest in hands and fingers and the arms in my movement, and I think I have a, a lot of 
sensation and also perhaps a bit of nervous tension in my fingers. I'm often fidgeting and my fingers are constantly moving and often they are the things that will lead me into movement. My movement's often quite gestural and the arm movements can be extremely complicated. The art of dance, I think, can be more complex and more oblique than, than language can, but you often find over watching the length of a dance work that something really substantial has taken place for you. While Lucy Guerin Inc. makes and tours work locally and internationally, it also runs residencies, forums, public programs and workshops. Lucy is one of the most crucial people within the dance sector. For me personally, she has been there for every milestone in my career, really. You know, it's been nearly 20 years that I've known and worked for Lucy. So that's a special relationship. And I think there's a lot of people in the dance community that feel that way about Lucy. There's a legacy, I guess, of her own movement language, which you can see very clearly in like running through all of the works in New Retro. But also, I guess the way that she's like enabled community and has supported so many artists to become their own artists. Building a dance community is very important to me because I feel that it's very important for the art form. But also, I, I guess it's for me, I don't want to be the only one. <laughs> I want to have other people to talk to and to discuss my ideas with building a community, it really benefits everybody.